you know what? I'm going to start this video and excuse my French. But it's too damn hot out here to be playing games. So <laughs> I'm on a property, right? Now, this is in one of my newer neighborhoods that I've been cutting on for a while. So same customer, no problem. I picked up another customer across the street the last time I was in that neighborhood. Um, and now they they gonna I, I picked them up. So I, so then I got a special kind of guy, which is not my customer. The last time I was over there, they asked me how much would I charge. I gave them the number, and oh, that's too much. That's too much. It's it's only the front. Doesn't matter if it's only the front or back. That's my number. All right. So. He did, I said, I, he said, don't worry about it. Now that was the last time. So I get over here again, service my regular customers. He comes out again and and I get off the mower from, I'm gonna get ready to blow things out. He said, hey, can you cut my grass? <laughs> that, that ought to indicate what kind of company, customer it was, right? I said, he, I said, uh, same price as last time, you only want the front end. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna offer you less than that, less than that. It's good money. How in the hell is that good money when you lowering the price for my work? Last time I checked, it says, new whole cuts on the side of this damn trail. This is me thinking in the back of my mind. It doesn't say, 7-Eleven Enterprises. It says New Hope Cuts. So I told him, I said, look, man, I cannot cut your, your property cheaper than the next door neighbor. And when y'all got identical properties, the only difference is your gate is on the left, his gate is on the right to get in the backyard. Front yard look identical. Identical. So he said, good money, good money. I said, man, don't worry about it. I, I can't do it. And I walked off. I literally walked off, got my blower, blowed off the property. When I got done, he waves me down again and says, hey, okay, I cut for your price. I said, okay, no, thank you. And I walked away and got in my truck. <laughs> what is wrong with these people, man? What is wrong with these people? His grass ain't been cut since two weeks ago. Two weeks. It's even higher than what it was before. I ain't got time for these damn games. It is too damn hot out here to be playing with money, folks, and your time. This is what I'm talking about. This is a, if you watch my video, yesterday that I posted about one time properties and overgrown properties. This is an example whereby you don't want that property. You don't want that headache. You don't want that damn problem because I could have cut it, but something told me it ain't worth it. It is not worth it. Because he can haul off. And oh, oh, I forgot to mention. When he come over this last time to say I can cut it, he going to pay my price. He brought the wife. The wife come over and said, good money, good money. Here we go again. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't even want it. I don't want that headache. I got Kylie in my truck, cranked it up, and pulled the you-know-what off. New Hope Cuts. Keep cutting.